What's up guys? I'm in the middle of Lake Olobosat. This is our dry teas. I'm walking right now in the middle of Lake Olobosat. What's up guys? Of course I go by the name of the Axe and today we are going to Lake Olobosat. Yes, by the way, uh, a few months ago I did uh, I did a post on my Facebook page about the dying Lake Olobosat. And a lot of people told me like just go there and tell us what's happening and tell us how it is. So a few months ago we decided to go to Lake Olbosat. What happened? Kapotea. To Lipotea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I took Ufika. But now today we're heading there. We're using like our Google Maps from the word go from Nakuru to meet my Google Maps all the way. Right now we are in the in the like Gilgil Nyauru Road. That's mm -hmm. where we are right now. So from here, I think it's a few kilometers, like maybe 20, 30 kilometers to Lake Olobosat. Mm -hmm. Lake Olobosat is, is one of the major lakes which supplies water to Iwasonyiro, which supplies water to Thompson Falls and to many places in the northern Kenya. So that's why it's a very important lake. But from the pictures you guys are seeing, it had dried up. But let's go there. And see what's happening. Alafu nasikia leo DP ya huko. Mhm. Na nani? Samido. Samido. Na Jose. Natutura. Yes, so <laughs> these guys are there. So we're heading there to see what they're doing. They, are, uh, they, they want to plant, I think, uh, some trees around the lake so that they can preserve the lake. Yeah, so join us. Yeah, for the road trip. Uh, so guys, uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. Yeah, engage with the videos. Tonare, Twende, Lake Olobosat. Here we come. Here we come. <laughs>
tunaona ni wapi but then in a country you can kind of guys where we have to walk to the lake we can't make it to that place with a car so we have to walk for at least like two kilometers to get to Lake Olubosat. Yeah, Nimbali, but this is what we signed for. And we need to get you the perfect shots of the lake. By the way, your lake is mekauka sana. Iko, ndo ile uko mbele uoni? Kuna some patches of water. Yeah, the lake was big, but right now, kuna just some patches of water. Yeah, so, tuko hapa, na tuendelea. Like three kilometers into what used to be the lake. See, it's so dry, like we're actually walking on what was the lake, and we're trying to go as deep as we can. This is what used to be Lake Olobosat. Right now, I'm standing like three kilometers in, three or two kilometers in from where the people have like, uh, constructed their houses to this place. So it's about two kilometers. Then uh, behind me, there's nothing. Like the lake is dry. So, so sad that we're losing this lake. And I've seen like posters on the road saying, help me save Lake Olobosat. This is what used to be like the deepest part of this lake. Yeah, right now you can see like there's nothing. I'm just walking inside the lake. Yeah, this is what is remaining. thousand years later i'm in the middle of lake olobosat this is how dry it is i'm walking right now in the middle of lake olobosat and there is no water like the only water i can see here is just some patches small small patches of rain water but the lake itself is so dry like so 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 dry check here thousands of acres are dry there's no water there's no nothing trees around this place has been messed up so today our deputy president mr rigadi ashagwa was here trying to plant trees with some other government officials and, uh, and, and some other uh, key people uh, crazy parts of the country like akina samido helped to save lake olobosat but unfortunately Maze, this is where we are totally messed up totally totally Lake Olobosat, and you guys have seen what this lake is at this moment. I don't know whether it will come to, to, to live again, but Pole Sana, yes, to all the people around this place, just do something because in the next like two years, this lake will be no more. I don't know whether people will come here to 
to do maybe to, to graze their cows or people come here to plant their uh, their crops i don't know eh kwa majina yangu ni benjamin ngatemi mwangi na somea shule ya gakoe primary eh niko grade la 7 ah sasa leo umetoka kwa rigiji eh rigiji amekupatia nini amenipatia hii muti rigiji amekupatia muti eh ufanyie nini nipande eh nikipada eh nitaweza kuretain maji eh na ivuta mvua mimi ni mkazi wa hapa si hapa ziwa yote ndani ya hiyo fence wanaweza kuona jinsi wanavyoweza kupanda miti ya kienyeji ambayo sasa inaweza kusaidia ili angalau tuone kama inaweza kurudisha maji ya furaha alafu ile kuna wakati inakuwa na maji kwa sababu sasa hii ni mende huko unapata hakuna maji maji kabisa inajaa mpaka huko karibu kwa hizo mashamba za watu lakini shida moja ya hii ni kwamba haina inti ya kuleta maji yenye sasa ambayo inaleta kila wakati. So unakuta kwamba kipindi cha jua kikienda sana unakuta sasa ya kwamba maji inapungua sana. Saa hii samaki ziko zimekufa. Yeah, zime e, kwa sababu sasa hakuna maji. Yeah. Hata hatujui itafanywa nini dio irudi kwa sababu tayari zimeisha. So labda kuwe na mpango fulani ambao ikirudi maji ikirudi labda walete siblings zingine za samaki za samaki ndio okay. angalau labda irudi kiasi okay so, so ile kimekuwa hivi for how long mm. like bila maji mpaka mm. sasa mm. tuseme 2023 mm -hmm. so hii mwaka 2022 ndio mm -hmm. imeshika sana kwa sababu ya hiyo jiwa ambayo imekuwa kwa muda mrefu yeah so ndio imekausha maji sana tunaweza kusema hivi mm -hmm. lakini ni ukosefu wa mvua 2022 mvua imepungua sana yeah. 2023 bado imeenda hivi mm -hmm. so kwa mwezi wa nne yeah. bado hakuja kuwa na mvua ya kutosha yeah. so ndio unaona hiyo kipindi kirefu hicho cha jua kimekausha maji kwa rate kubwa sana oh. hivyo sababu imekauka hivi okay. mm. asante yeah. Yeah. Nipo tu. Niko mm. rais hivi. <laughs> I hope that one day I'll come here when the lake is full. I hope that one day uh, this lake will uh, go back to where it used to be. But till that time, Mose asking, remember to subscribe, remember to like, remember to comment. Thank you for watching this. Till next time. Bye.